Hello, this is Vedat from Programmership. Today, we're gonna start to learn solid principles. Solid principles are a set of rules that makes your code flexible, reusable, maintainable, let's say testable and readable. If we want our code to be solid friendly, then we need to follow those set of rules. Let me write down these rules. So the first one is S, which stands for single responsibility principle. Also, the abbreviation is SRP. And the next one is O, which is open close principle. And this is also known as OCP. And the other one is L, which is LISCO substitution principle. Let's say LSP. And the other one is I, which is interface segregation principle. And it is ISP for the abbreviation. The last one is is D, which is dependency inversion principle, DSP. In this chapter, we're going to start with the first one, which is single responsibility principle. Single responsibility principle, in other words, SRP, basically states a class or a structure or a function should have responsibility only for one task, not for more. So if there are more than one task in your class or structure or function, then it violates SRP. Let me make a basic example and see how we can implement the SRP. Suppose we have a class for user account management and it contains login and register logic. Let's say class account manager. And inside this class, I will just create a two function. The first one is login and the other one is register. For the login, let's say username for the first parameter and the password for the other parameter. And inside the login function, I will just basically say print user logged in. And let's create the register function. For the register function, let's say username for the first parameter and password one for the second parameter. And also I want to as a third parameter which is password2 for password validation purpose and inside the register function I will basically say if password1 is equal to password2 then let's say print user register it else if it's not equal then say print please check your password so let's create an instance of the account manager class and try to call it let's say let my account is equal to account manager and in the next line i will say my account dot register for the username i will say with that and for the password let's say one two or three for the password two i will say again one two three let's also call my account dot login for the username i will save it out and for the password i will say one two three and let's hit run cool no problem well in this simple example we can see the account manager class not only contains two functions but also it contains login and register logics to make this class srp friendly let's start with separating these functions into different classes at the top of account manager class let me create a class called user login and inside the class i will just copy the login function and paste it over here and I will create a class for register as well let's say user register and I will do the same thing for register let's copy it and paste it over here also let's change the account manager class body here I will create two constant let's say private let user login is equal to user login and also let me create for the user register as well user register is equal to user register and inside the login function i will just call the self.userlogin.login and i will pass the parameter for the password let's say password here in the register function let me delete this and say self.userregister.register let me copy these parameters and pass it and for password 2 oops let's say okay password 2 and let's hit run 
and it still works. Good. Here we just moved the main logics of login and register into separate classes. We have not finished yet. Let's also make our code easy to test. I will add two protocols for login and register. Here at the top, let me create a protocol called login protocol. And for the body, let me copy this login function body and paste it over here. And I will create the same thing for the register protocol. Let's say register protocol. And I will copy the register functions definition and paste it in our register protocol. Let's conform our user login and user register classes to our login protocol and register protocol. For that, just say login protocol and for the register i will say register protocol and now i will modify the account manager class here instead of user login classes let me make it login protocol and it will be optional for the user register i will also say it will be an register protocol type and also optional so here i will create an initializer for our account manager class let's say in it inside i will just say or let me copy this guy over here and paste it let's say comma and i will copy the second property and paste it over here and let's also delete this question mark inside the initializer i will just say self dot user login is equal to our incoming parameter which is user login and self dot user register is equal to our second parameter which is user register now inside the login function let me try to unwrap the user login property say if let user login is equal to user login then inside this if statement just use this line all right so for the register let's also unwrap the user register property i will say if let user register is equal to user register and then i will call the self dot user register dot register function by the way we need to remove this self keyword because we're just using unwrapped user login so there is no need for self dot keyword in this if let statement we just check whether our user login parameter is nil or not and we did the same thing for user register parameter as well if it is not nil then we call the register function or login function with these changes our account manager class will use the login and register feature according to parameters that we are going to pass through the initializer this approach is also known as dependency injection finally let's pass initial parameters to the account manager class and see if everything still works Works. Here I will say for the user login, I will just create an instance and pass it for the second parameter. Let's say user register and pass it. And let me run the code. It seems we have an error. Let's check it. What is that? It is because I just forgot to add another curly bracket for the closing of login function. All right. Sorry, it's my mistake. And let me say my account dot register again for the username is save a dot and for the password. Let's quickly say one, two, three. For the password two, I will say one, two, three. And also let me call the login function as well and give the parameters. And let's hit run we can see it still works. With this approach, you can easily write unit tests for login and register. Also, suppose you need to add another login and register class for admin, then you don't need to change anything in the account manager class. All you have to do is create a class for admin login and admin register, and also conform those classes to login protocol and register protocol. This is all you need to do. And finally, we'll pass your admin class through this initializer. And that's it. It will work. All right. That's it for this chapter. The example in this chapter was created for explaining the single responsibility principle. Of course, it's not a complete logic for user account management. I hope you got the idea. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. It is the best way to support me. Goodbye.